What is up guys, KFC back. We're gonna be doing a little bit of a different style of video today. We're gonna to be looking at our defensive bases. It's something that I wanna spend all of the month of March talking about. I wanna get us thinking about it. I want us to start tweaking our bases after every war. I don't wanna see the same bases just keep getting used over and over and over again. Even if they aren't threed, that doesn't mean that we can't be ahead of metagame shifts and just trying to make our bases as tough as possible. Um, getting a good sense too, of if we've got 25 Town Hall 9s, let's say, in a war, it's very good to know how many of them have Hounds in the Clan Castle. Do we have anyone with a Troll Tesla in the corner? Uh, can we create a nice balance of, you know, maybe the, the Clan Castles that have a Hound in it, they don't have the Troll Tesla, but maybe a, a, a base with two dra a Dragon and two Loons can have a Troll Tesla. Something to trip the enemy up uh, to make it a little harder. So I want to go through... Uh, some of our bases. I'll start looking at some of our lower level Town Hall 9s uh, just to respect the higher level Town Hall 9s um, who have bases that don't get three maybe often. Let's go ahead and take a look at Milzy here, uh, see what he is working with. Uh, the number one thing that I can see on this base, boom, AQ chamber. Uh, not well uh, positioned. That AQ uh, is within three tiles of this wall. And so what that means is that if the attacker comes from this side, they don't even have to jump into the AQ compartment. So the attacker could come in, place his jump spell right here, this queen will jump the wall, the king will go over, take the queen out, and then the enemy archer queen can easily snipe these buildings, removing pathing to these double bombs. Uh, so this base is god-awful. I am not going to mix words. I want people to start getting better uh, at how they think about defensive bases. Uh, so not a very good layout. Um, if this queen was backed up, uh, kind of like there's a space here in between the the town, the gold storage and the cannon, uh, if you backed her up one, it, it would at least take away that angle. So there's no other way that you'd attack this base other than just absolutely taking away all the double giant bomb spots. Second thing that I can say about the base is that the double bomb spot is awful as well. Uh, there's no way that a competent hog attacker uh, would look at this double spot and be threatened by it. It's too easy to single trip. If you bring hogs from this side and they go air defense into wizard tower and then they go and stand over on the air defense, boom, a heal spell. Well, it'll trip this bomb. The hogs that kind of path from the wizard tower to the air defense will trip this bomb, but it will not trip that bomb. Um, the only way that this double even remotely works is if, if somehow... I mean, I, I'm actually just looking, I just can't see how this double would ever work. It's just not good. Uh, gotta fix that. Uh, spring traps are looking okay. Uh, like, I like these here, because they're positioned inside of two defenses. So it's a two-way spring trap is what they're called. So you have defense, spring, defense. That's good, because no matter if they come from this angle, uh, they're going to jump over to the wizard tower and hit the spring trap. And if they're coming maybe from like a, a counterclockwise angle, They'll go down into the cannon as well. So I, I like that spring trap location. The spring trap locations I uh, I'm not a huge fan of are ones like this. Uh, so these kind of uh, horizontal ones because simply a a um, good surgical approach could easily negate that single or that that spring trap. Keep in mind that way that spring traps work is that if you, if you deploy three on this arch tower, three on this in this mortar, and they come kind of from this angle over here, I'm sure you guys have seen this before when hogs run over a spring trap but maybe you only lose one or the spring trap goes off, but nothing goes flying. It's because the, the, the unit needs to stand on the spring trap in order for it to work. They need to be paused there for a second. So that's why these spring traps work. Three or four hogs on this cannon, three or four hogs in this arch tower, they are going to path and they are going to stand on the front end of this building, which puts them on the spring trap. That's what makes hogs fly. Um, so even if you do have a surgical approach here, you might only lose a hog or so. So this is just not a very good spring trap. This is even worse. Uh, there's not a defense on the other side of it. Um, you could make the argument that they could path from the air defense to the cannon, but if that's the case, that means that they're obviously, um, they've already negated your, your double set anyway. So in all cases, try and make your spring traps look a little bit more like that. Um, seeking air mines look decent. Um, General rule of thumb is to have your Seeking Air Mines placed away from your Archer Queen. I'm now realizing this base is an 8.5, uh, but a lot of the stuff that I've said so far is just kind of general principles, right? We're not talking about the whole base. 
we're, we're specifically looking at what does this section of your base accomplish? Um, what is needed here? If someone looks at this base, right, if you pretend that those spring traps aren't there, they don't know that that's there, they don't know that Tesla's there, they very well may say, well, I'm going to drop four on this cannon, four on this archer tower, and I don't even need a heal spell because this is two. these are two pieces of splash damage. So they might look at this compartment and feel very safe about dropping eight hogs, when in reality, this is a very, very good anti-hog-ish compartment. So this section of the base, very well done. The rest of the base, base itself, not so much. Um, uh, single bombs, they have a purpose. The purpose is to not just throw them on the outside of the base. The purpose of them is to be anti-wall breaker. And so in order to make an anti-wall breaker type design, you need to set the bomb one square away uh, from the wall segment that you're trying to protect. So for example, this is a worthless uh, single bomb. This is a worthless single bomb. This is, it, it, it meets one criteria, the criteria that it needs to be one spot away uh, from a wall segment. Uh, the criteria that it might not meet is you have to figure out, is this a compartment that people might break into? Um, they'd have to break in by sending um, a golem kind of, because the wizard tower is going to negate anyone from coming in from that angle, right? So the only way would maybe to, you'd have to hope that your opponent somehow drops his golem in a way that's going to direct wizard tower damage. But the only way that I see that happening is if the opponent drops his golem here, and that's going to negate the single bomb anyway. Uh, so all of those little things, right, all of these up here, like if you were to remove these two, that's actually, this one right here is actually a decent single bomb. It would serve the purpose that you want it to serve, um, but the other five are just not super well placed. Um, sorry to pound on you, Milzy. That is what you get when you loot in a main war. Never, ever, 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 ever loot in a main war. If you realize that you forget your healers when you are mid-attack, you YOLO that shit. You try and beat it without four healers. You say, my my attack style is so fucking good, it's going to be better uh, that I don't have it. Uh, so, yeah, you get your base shit on because you looted in the main war. Um, fix that base. I don't want to see it again. Love you. Okay, moving on to Glenn. Let's see some things that work well. That is a beautiful spring trap here sitting next to a barrack. I think, you know... If you think about it theoretically, spring traps next to barracks are fucking amazing. Uh, so I would I would seriously consider moving that one. This one here, uh, you see the problem on Millsy's base as well. Uh, this one is going uh, horizontal. Uh, Tesla farm. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I understand that you know this is this is a good example of a base. Like we need to figure out how many of our uh, town hall nine bases have Tesla farms because Tesla farms do tend to mess up people on a first attack. But you don't want them to start expecting us all to have Tesla farms. So I don't mind them. Um, let's see what else. Spring trap. All the spring traps are bad. This is a good one right here. Uh, that's a decent one. Uh, there's no way for the hogs to pass other than to pass over the spring traps. So that's good. Uh, this double set here, um, is easily removed, uh, by an archer queen walk. Um, so if you look at this base, they got three, um, bombs here. This entire section of the base could be easily destroyed, uh, by an archer queen walk. Now I know that Glenn is once again, he's a new town all nine. Um, doesn't have his expos down yet, also an 8.5 base, um, so possibly just uh, a flaw a little bit in the design. Uh, but you don't want to just have your the enemy just be able to remove your pathing to double bomb sets by Archer Queen Walks, because that makes the rest of the base very, very easy. If you Archer Queen Walk these two compartments, and then you enter kind of from up here, grab the Queen, at that point they have a very easy kind of pathway here, kind of right down the center, um, and they just have to drop their heal spells, boom, test the farm, and that's all they'd really need. Um, I don't like the single bomb here either. Um, you definitely, if you want to use single bombs, you have to use it. You have to use them in a way that it's going to at least go off on like six to eight hogs so that it forces a heal spell. That is the purpose of a single bomb. The purpose of a single bomb is to burn a heal spell uh, from your opponent. In this very, in this situation, if someone were to drop three, three, oops, excuse me, if they were to drop three, 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 they would not need to heal that adult, that Bomb spot. They will just take that. They'll just say, okay, that's fine. I'll lose three hogs. Not a big deal. They still have 27 for the rest of the base. Heal spells clearly going down in this Tesla farm. Um, so yeah, work on your base as well. Definitely giving some cold, cold feedback. I started this video off being like, I'm going to be super friendly. That did not happen. So let's move on to Hell Nail 2. AQ Chamber, uh, not good. Not three squares away. Uh, so an enemy can kind of come in over here. They can come from the Tesla farm side. They can drop a jump spell right here, or they can even like wall break in and jump it over here. They can, they're basically, 
if they don't have to jump into your AQ compartment, they're not jumping in there. They rather would just have your AQ jump into this compartment and then easily have all their stuff walk over here because you can see the value. There's nothing over here that they really want, right? They could easily drop three, 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 three hogs on all of these um, and they don't need to burn a heal spell. So they get to basically trade 15 hogs for five pieces of point defense. You probably won't even take out any of the hogs while they do that. So they don't need to go over to get your Archer Queen. They're not going to do it. The, heals, the jump spell in this case would be placed on this junction right here because that has more action uh, that they want to take out. Um, double set here. It's not the worst I've ever seen. Um, they, they would at least have to path over. Um, so at least that one, that's a decent example of one where there's just no way that they could trip that kind of uh, single. Like even if they went down here to the Wizard Tower, they would path up. No matter what they do, you basically want to make it so they don't have like this clear straight shot from a certain defense. Um, so, sorry, I hit the wrong button. Uh, I went back to Glenn's. Let's go back. Um, so no matter what, they would have to at least go around in a circle and then go path across. So that's actually a decent double bomb spot. I, this single spot is exactly what I was talking about. This is fine. There's no way that someone could drop three or four hogs or something on this area and not have to worry about this double spot or the single spot. So I like this compartment it, with the exception of this spring trap not being phenomenal. Uh, I would probably push that. I would probably, probably make some space to push one in between these two. Um, I, I don't mind this compartment very much. Uh, I don't even mind this double set very much. So the, the smaller kind of micro level stuff is starting to show up. Um, it's the macro level stuff like, okay, so right here, uh, skeleton trap set to air. I'm not sure why. Um, I would definitely protect against ground in the ground meta. It's fine if we have attackers that are air meta, uh, but most of the stuff that we're going to see, go wipes and hogs, um, that is definitely more the meta. So I would definitely shift that to ground. And then we're, the AQ chamber has to be three squares away. It just has to be. Um, so get that fixed. Uh, move some stuff around. And a lot of the times what you'll notice is that it's not a super easy fix, right? You can't just back the Archer Queen up because there's a Town Hall on the way. Uh, so you're going to have to probably just redo the entire base. Take what works really well. Understand the fundamental um, of what makes a good compartment and that should speed up your base building process. Moving on to the next one. Let's do a few more. Uh, I'm kind of getting a little tired. I just recorded my live attack as well. Uh, let's kind of see what's going on here on this base. Uh, where the hell is the Arch Queen? Right here, not an AQ chamber. Um, very easy to take out that queen. I am a, a firm believer, and I think that most of us are a firm believer in that AQ chambers are super important. You need to make sure she is as well protected as possible. Uh, but in this case, here's the disaster of having an AQ that jumps walls. You could start your golem portion all the way down here at six o'clock. And then those golems would path up. They would trip this double. You could place a jump spell right here. And then by the time that the units got up this area, this archer queen is going to lock on because as soon as the golems path from the wizard tower to the expo, the archer queen is going to jump into this compartment, start shooting the golems. That's going to trigger your barbarian king to jump up, help the golem out and take out the queen. So even though she's all the way up here, the clear way to attack this base is to come from a hog perspective. I should always clarify that anytime that I'm putting out videos, it's probably going to be from a ground perspective for now. Um, you can easily go up from six, place a jump spell there, take out the queen. And then at that point, you just have this kind of area over here to worry about. Uh, the spring trap locations, not fantastic. Surgical approach easily trumps all of these two spring traps entirely. If you were to just shift those over a little bit, um, the surgical approach still kind of gets you, but at least you'd have a chance um, if they maybe drop like three here, three here, and then they have to backtrack for that mortar. Um, Anti-surgical spring trap here. Uh, probably about a year ago, this was very popular. I don't think it's very popular today. It has to be a two-way spring trap. Too many people have gotten used to um, how to defeat anti-surgical type spring traps. Um, so go ahead and kind of fix that. Um, those are kind of the advice I have on your base. Same thing down here. Um, Anti-surgical-ish spring trap. Um, I don't mind uh, the the... Tesla farm there. Uh, the pathing to this double is a little awkward. You can definitely see a scenario where they kind of come kind of from a clockwise direction where they come up um, and possibly uh, single trip this bomb. They can kind of come from the side here um, and kind of go wizard tower. Um, it's not going to be a clean, I, I don't know how to describe this. I haven't articulated it super well to this point. Um, this bomb is very clear. Um, no matter what, they kind of have to path over it. There's nothing that's going to pull them. There's just too much action around this double set. 
And so a heal spell, you never know. Like it, basically what I'm talking about, I guess, is that there's possibilities for like stray hogs. You know, you have a group of hogs in this wizard tower. They, you know, one of them then goes over to the mortar, trips this bomb, and then the rest of them hang on the, the front end of this Tesla. So this one doesn't go off. Um, so just not super great pathing there. Um, let's do one more, and then I'll call it a, uh, a defensive base review video. Onyx, uh, let's see what Onyx has going on here. Um, for someone who's so experienced, base is god-awful. Um, AQ, ch it doesn't have an AQ chamber. Um, AQ can be taken out multitude of ways. They can come from the top, they can come from the bottom. Um, they even have the possibility of cold-blooding uh, this air defense and getting the queen, just doing a pretty traditional cold-blood around the side. Um, the sweepers are poorly placed. This sweeper is covering an air defense. Uh, so this sweeper could definitely be pointed almost up, kind of more this direction where there might be some loons coming in. Um, skeleton trap is set to go off when people come at the queen from this direction. Um, and it's pretty clear at this point that they could easily kind of come in from this direction and grab a double set and then you'd have to remove one more. Uh, you start to see how this bomb could be single tripped. You know, picture a surgical approach around the outside. Three here, three here, three here, three here. Uh, maybe a heal spell somewhere kind of in this triangle. Three here, three here. These archer tower. Um, so, so a lot of people would say, oh, well, you can't trip this bomb singly because what's going to happen is these archer tower uh, hogs are going to go over to the wizard tower and then boom, they're going to path across my uh, double set. That would be the case if your opponent is horrible uh, but what's and what's going to happen is they're going to drop three, three, and then they're going to keep on going with their surgical approach. Three more, three more. And so ultimately the hogs that are on this archer tower are going to take out the archer tower. And by the time that they do, this wizard tower will be down. Those hogs have nowhere else to go then to, that, then to this cannon. And then boom, single bomb goes off. No problem handling that double. Uh, so not a great place double. Uh, the entire core of the base could be opened up by an earthquake, but I don't think that's super important because they'd still have to go through two walls. So I think that's fine. Um, let's see, what else can I point out here? I'm trying to, I'm not the, maybe I should bring on like a guest speaker to talk about, um, air. So maybe if, if Todd or Edgar is watching this video and wants to maybe do a little collaboration based breakdown of, um, how to defend against air, that would be fantastic. Um, so yeah, kind of look at the rest of the base, single bombs here. Good, uh, good and good. And then good, good, and where is the last one? Good. So he's got all of his single bombs well placed. Um, uh, this expo is set to ground. Absolutely shameful. Um, this one is set to ground in air. So all right. Uh, so as you can see, um, Onyx has an account that's got 30, 30 heroes, but still needs to start working on his base designs because this one, not very good. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. It definitely had a little bit more of a negative kick to it, um, but hopefully it makes us better. Uh, so those five individuals, uh, Onyx, I don't, yeah, Relic, I think you did, Hellnail, Glenn, Milzy, start working on new bases. If you use the same base next war, you're going to get a very angry Kevin. Um, so this is also the war that I did the live attack on. As you can see, it is now 69-58 in our favor, so it looks like we're pulling away. Uh, so a little bit of an update on that war. Uh, but I really just wanted to bring us some, some base design coverage. Uh, put in the comment section if you guys would like to see a little bit more of these videos. I'm happy to uh, put them out for us. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.